Hey there, Sand Dollar family. I just wanted to reach out to you, uh, check in, see how you're doing, let you know how I'm doing. Uh, I know it's been kind of quiet here on my front as I'm dealing with everything going on around us. Um, we are now at a temporary closure for Sand Dollar. So what that means is if you have an appointment between now and some point, um, it's going to be put on hold. So I felt that for the safety of you and your families and loved ones and myself and my family and loved ones that it was important to close down and uh, ride this out. So we're gonna kind of do that together this way. Um, <laughs> First thing I want to do is let you know that we will be opening soon. I'm positive of that. I have very positive vibes and feelings about this. I will be back to work, so don't worry about that. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to do was to say thank you. So many of you have reached out to me and asked me how I'm doing, how my family's doing, and checked in on me, and I really, truly appreciate that. Many of you I've been keeping in touch with via text, trying to figure out, will you have an appointment? Will you not have an appointment? Are we pushing it out? You know, and I appreciate all of your patience and understanding as we go through this time in our lives where we're just all kind of not knowing what's going on and what tomorrow brings. So I appreciate your patience with that. I've had many of you ask me what you can do to help um, me and my business and that I, from the bottom of my heart, truly appreciate. Just so you know, I do sell gift certificates online. I always have, but now is a perfect time to practice that social distancing and buy your gift certificates online. And you can buy them for yourself to use at a later time when we're open and running again. You can purchase them for friends that you think might need some extra TLC after all of this is over family members, people that you know that are on the front lines. Once this is all over, they're going to need some some help with their bodies and emotions and all that. And if there's um, any way that a massage can help them, maybe that's a, a lovely gift that you can give to someone so that they can come in at a later date. Uh, neighbors that you've been checking on that are stressed out or having problems, um, you know, share, share that. And I appreciate when you give a gift card to someone that has never been in before because then I get to share my gift with them and um, show them what my practice is all about. So I do truly appreciate it when you send that off to someone else. Um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you, uh, another way that you can help me out while you're home uh, is write a review. Um, I'd love some more Google reviews or Facebook reviews, any of the platforms that you're on or all of the platforms. Uh, that just helps people find me and my business after all of this is over. So if you haven't gone out to Google or Facebook and written a review about your services and about my place, I would love some help with that as well. The last thing I want to talk about real quick is how is all of this, what's going on right now, going to affect my practice when you come back? And I want to let you know, rest assured, that I have always had a clean practice. Uh, a lot of the things that I've started doing recently are not really any different than what I do during a normal flu season. So I, most of you know I take a half hour in between each client so that I can take a break, say goodbye to you, reschedule you, do all the things that need to be done. But then what you don't see is me going back to my room. And especially during flu season, I wipe everything down from the doorknob coming and going, both sides, the light switch, uh, the little dish that you put your jewelry in, the table that that sits on, the other table that has your um, hair ties and, and different things on that. Uh, I use hot towels. The hot towel, the front of the cabinet gets wiped down. Um, the bottle that I use for the massage oil, that gets wiped down. Um, and then I actually put that into the sanitary cabinet as well as the little scalp massagers. Those get uh, washed and wiped and thrown into that uh, sanitary cabinet as well. Um, I wipe down all the laundry. All the linens obviously are going to get washed. Everything that touches you is going to get washed. Then I spray down the face cradle and I spray down the table. So everything gets wiped down anyways. So a lot of what I'm doing now hasn't changed. Before each client, before I go in and work on you, I wash my hands. 
right after I'm done working on you, I wash my hands. This is all normal practice for me. I can honestly say the only thing that has really changed during this time is I use a washcloth to enter and leave the room. That way I'm not touching the door handle that you're going to be touching in a moment. And I have been wiping down surfaces out in front of the salon. So the tablet, the front desk, that kind of stuff um, is getting wiped down more. And that's going to continue. I mean, these are just cleanliness practices that I practice every day. So I, I want you to feel confident and comfortable when this is all over and you're able to come back to um, my salon that you are comfortable and confident that things are going to stay clean. With that said, I just want to tell you all that I miss you so very much. I absolutely love what I do for a living, and I really miss not being able to do it right now. Sorry, this is really lame. <laughs> um, I really do miss not being able to work. I miss talking to you and seeing you. And this will be over soon. And I can't wait to see you again soon. For now, stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned. I'm gonna do some more videos, hopefully with less crying. And um, if there's any suggestions that you have, concerns, if you think I missed something on my checklist of what I clean, I probably just forgot to mention it to you. But if you have concerns about any of that, please let me know. If you have um, questions or ideas about content um, of what you would like to see from me, I'd love to do some stretching videos for you just while we're at home to help out so that when you come back in for your treatments that I don't have a ton of work to do. So. I look forward to seeing you soon, and I look forward to working with you very, very soon. Love to you all.